Good morning, everyone. Wednesday again. It's coming so fast each week now. Okay, it's April 20th. April 20th, week 16 of the 52 weeks of dishcloths. Let's see if we can go through this day pretty quick. Hope you all had lovely holidays or are still anticipating holidays because this weekend is Orthodox Issa. And let's see. This week for our dishcloth puppy. It's actually about 11 o'clock on Wednesday morning. We have been out for walks. We have been in and out of the house for little bathroom checks. They've eaten their lunch. My father's been by and he needed to order some vitamins and he wanted to do some other financials. We did that. The place is all cleaned up. Um, what else did I do this morning? My husband's gone. He's supposed to have the whole week off because he only can work. Let's see. He's part time. That would be full time is 20, 80 hours per year. So he can only work 1,040 hours per year, but I think it goes by weeks and he's already way ahead because, um, he does a lot of extra work, especially around snow days. So, um, he has all this week off, although he's been at church <laughs> all week. Anyway, they're installing a new uh, statue in front of the church this morning. So he's gone. He's probably gone for a while. So the little puppy should be tired. I'm trying to find him now. Oh, no, he's gone again. But he's quiet. I'm going to depend on him to be sleeping. Because you really have to keep an eye on him at all times. He's now in his, he's about 14 weeks now. No, he'd be 16 weeks because, ha ha, he was born January 1st. So he's 16 weeks old. And from three months, which is like, so he's four months now. At three months, they start their teething or their biting stage. And that lasts till about six months. So he's biting everything. He grabs everything he can bite. I give him certain things he can bite. He doesn't want those. But. He's exhausted most of the time because there's another dog and there's, like I said, people have been out of, in and out of here all the time and he loves all company and he runs outside. He still does zoomies all around the yard, so he's pretty tired. As a matter of fact, I'm going to, I thought he was in here with me. I'm going to check one more time. I'll be right back. Good news. He voluntarily went into his crate so I can see the crate from here, which is why it's placed there. I can see him just the corner of his eyes he can see me too so he keeps an eye on me all right everything's fine so let's get started easter was very nice for us we had about 10 people so it was frantic for me just trying to get the whole house clean and get the kitchen configured to be able to hold 10 people we use two tables like going this way so everyone can see each other and we can still talk even though i have a large kitchen Throw in food and people, and it seems like it just gets all used up. But it was a very nice day. Most of the company left by about 6. But then round 2 came in. Um, and then we had company for a little while longer. And then it was finally done by about 8. The dogs were exhausted, as was I. <laughs> but it was nice. It was very nice. My father just left now and, and saying how, what a good time he had on Sunday. Because my, my dad comes here. And then goes and picks up his girlfriend from her relatives, her kid's house. Because he'd rather come here than go there because, well, he can eat here. He's vegetarian and there's always, like, <laughs> it was very funny. We had very nice food, a lot of food, but we had ham and we had a lot of stuff. But the meat was ham. But there was mashed potatoes and very nice, car like, my son makes these special carrots and um everybody brought specialty so it was nice i didn't have a lot of cooking to do but my father would end ended up with only biscuits because i made biscuits and potatoes that i make because we had three kinds of potatoes <laughs> craziness right but he didn't have anything else oh we had baked beans but he didn't want to eat those baked beans for some reason i don't think he liked the brand or something. I get vegetarian beans, but he'd rather get it something else, I guess. So I'm making, I made him some scrambled eggs because he's recently added some eggs to his diet. So I'm making scrambled eggs. My grandson was over and he didn't want ham and he didn't want anything. And 
and uh, Jessica said, are you making scrambled eggs? And I said, yeah, it's for my dad. And then I looked at Hunter. I said, are you going to eat today? And he says, I'll have those eggs. So I gave him those eggs and then the eggs from my father. So it worked out. I had two takers on the scrambled eggs. But it was like a breakfast, eggs and potatoes and biscuits. Or we had, oh, we had tons of stuff. But anyway, I'm digressing again. Let's get on with the things at hand. Today's... Today's uh, today's dishcloth is called a lacy round, and I got this pattern from one of the espresso knitters. Diana contributed this to our group, and it looks crochet, but is actually knitted. This is the pattern which I will be able to share with you. Oh, you can see all my markings, because when I finish a round, I always uh, mark it because I can't count. Uh, it's knitted, but doesn't it look like crochet? So I'll have the pattern for this knitted dishcloth in the description box below. Let me show it to you. Here it is on a board so that I can lift it up. Doesn't it look crocheted? Sort of. But when you look closely, you can tell it's knitted. This was that stripey um, spring stripes, I think is the, the name of it. It came, here it is. I think it's this one. Um, is it the I Love Cotton? Is the color fifty-four bright green? No, that was that was the uh, shamrock. Okay, I know I have it, but it, I'm pretty sure it's called spring spring stripes, and it does look springy with the light green and the two um, the the lavender and the purple, and this is like a light blue, or you might even call it um, a very light orchid but uh it works up pretty quick um it's probably let's see what does it say it's done on a seven needle and it is 10 inches across from tip to tip i didn't measure i didn't measure i think this one might be a little bit bigger than 10 inches across because i was knitting kind of loose let's see it is yeah, mine's 12 with a seven needle. I mean, if you're a tight knitter, it'll be 10. I'm a loose knitter. So anyway, that's that. Like it a lot. Want to make more. But I think this would look really nice under a plant. Like, you know, you put your plants, even though they have pots under them, sometimes, you, sometimes I'm not a good shot watering plants. I like to put little, it looks like, you know, the old-fashioned cotton doilies, but it's much quicker than doing a doily. And 100% uh, cotton, easy to wash, and stuff will come clean. So that's that for this week. Number 16, done. In the books. What am I doing next week? I don't know. So let's just see what else I have quickly today. I have some acquisitions. I don't know if I talked about it last week because I was probably waiting for the package last week. I uh, got some fabric from Soya on the internet. I'll link to them down below. They have Tuesday and Saturday night auctions. But last Friday night, there was actually a Notions night. Notions nights I like because they discount their Notions a bit. And um, do you know how much you can spend on Notions? I mean, you want to sew, you want to do this, you want to do that. But you need the tools to do a good job. And if you... If you had every tool, it would be so expensive. So I like it when they have their notions because you can pick up a lot of things all in one place, delivered to your home, flat shipping fee, and they throw in gifts. <laughs> I bought notions Friday night. They just came in today. I got a free scarf. <laughs> Look at this. And it's it's uh it's two two colors stitched together. So, you can do whatever you need to do with it. i got to find something to wear with it, to wear when I use it. Well, anyway, i got a free scarf. Nice and light for summer. You could wear that in the summer. And I got a bunch of notions. I got the diag I got some diagonal seam tape, which they couldn't even really explain what this was on the air because they probably don't do half square triangles in, using this method. If you put this tape on your machine, 
when you're doing half square triangles and you've got two squares to sew together like this, you put your squares down on the machine and you follow that center line down and you don't have to draw the line to make, that's what that's all about. So I got that. I bought this um, fabric glue pen. These are nice when you're doing um, English paper piecing. You would just use this pen to glue the fabric onto your um, hexi if you're doing hexies. And uh, you just fold it over and then you sew your stuff together. It's much easier than just trying to press it on and hold it on or pin it on. And it came with a refill. But then they also had two refills for sale as well. So I got all three. The price is at least 20%, if not 30% less than the stores. I got some Thread Magic. This is helpful, especially when I'm machine embroidering, um, because I also use water-soluble thread when I'm doing machine embroidery. And this is like in place of beeswax. Like if you do hand stitching or machine stitching and you want to treat your thread with, I don't know how you treat your thread with the beeswax if you were machine stitching. I only use it for hand stitching. But this you can open up and put on your machine. It shows, let's see if I can show you the close up. See that? You can stick it on your machine and your thread will be treated and it is better than wax. So it says it's the ultimate thread conditioner called Thread Magic. I've heard a lot of good things about it, haven't tried it yet, but it was there, so I bought that. And I got a different kind of a seam ripper. It's one of those razors for the tough seams. <laughs> it's a razor. It's a little razor. Look at that. So you kind of just saw up the seam. Say you had um, something that might be um, overlocked or you've already stitched it twice and now you want to take it apart or the, or sometimes even when you're quilting if it's um if you're doing 18 per inch or 20 stitches per inch it can be hard to take apart so that's what this is i've never tried one of these it's kind of cool and it's pretty too so that's what i got but the previous one last week i told you that i accidentally bought two um night sort of like 1930s-ish um, fat quarters. Let me see. I bought 22 fat quarters. 22 fat quarters. 22 fat quarters in a panel. It is Basket of Blooms. Basket of Blooms is the name. By, is it Darlene? Yeah, Darlene Zimmerman. It's a whole line, and um, it also comes with a panel. It's Robert Kaufman. So it's a really, really nice fabric. But the colors are so nice. You got your purple, and a purple, and then another purple. So there's your three. And then you've got, um, now we're starting the blues, a blue. What do they call these? They call these low value. There's a blue low value. Three, four. There's a lot of the blues. Aren't they gorgeous? They're just so nice. All right. And then you see how there's some green in there. So then we're transitioning into the greens. And there they are. And a lot of them are similar to the ones you've already seen, only a different print. Three greens. Now we're going into the pinks. Oh, this green should go. There's a low volume green. Let's get that with the greens. There's a pink. Oh, and green, so I'll put that there. Yellows. Always good to have yellow. They really pop in a quilt with the low value. Could you believe all these? All right, this, this, this. Again, repeats of what you've already seen, only in different colorways. And this. 22 fat quarters and a panel came with it now i don't know if the panel's related to it or not it has a lot of the same colors of course let's see if it's this it's the same yeah it's the same it's the same fabric line baskets of blooms 
So these are probably the baskets. So you have a third of a yard sized panel that came with it. That it almost looks like it's ready to embroider, doesn't it? Hand embroidery. They're very pretty. I don't know what to do with the panel. It's that'll depend on if I um I could fussy cut the panels and maybe put them on point and then do a I don't know what I'm gonna do. Plus <laughs> I accidentally bought two because I bought one and on my computer it said Sorry that that order that didn't go to the server because you just type in a number and send it off. So and it's an auction, so you're trying to go quickly, and um, because they run out. So I did it again, and then I saw my name go up twice. So I said, "Oh God, I've got two. So I do have another one, still not open, still not cracked open. Um, so I'm either building stash or maybe somebody wants one. Um, we'll see. Um, I'm not unhappy that, because, all right, what did it cost? It cost $59. I'm pretty sure that was the price on that one. I'd have to look it up. I think it was 59 So if you consider that a fat quarter is 350 yeah, a fat quarter, they sell for three, sometimes you can, if you go to a show, you can find deals, but if you're going to a store for a fat quarter, you're going to spend 350 So... 10 is $35, 20 is $70, and then $77 for 22. 350 times 10, yeah. So it's a savings. And this could be for a lot of different projects. I'm happy about it. Oh, I've, I just saw two more things I got with my um, notions. Tail chalk. I don't even see this in the store, so maybe I haven't looked good enough, but it's a yellow. I don't have a yellow tailor shop. Sometimes you, you're working on blue or black and you don't want to put white. Oh my goodness, it looks very bright there. It's not really that bright. This is this is more like, it's not this yellow. It's more like a mustard. I wonder how I can get you to see the actual color. There it is. See how it's not so yellow there? But it's bright yellow. <laughs> it's more of a mustard. It's more of a mustard color. So that's a tailor chalk. I'm old fashioned, so I always use the tailor chalk. And then I bought a red one, which I'm a little skeptical. I had red before, though. I, I wore my red out. I mean, you have one of these that last two years. I think they these were 75 cents. Oh, this one's actually more pink. This is actually the color it is. This is a true color. It's not really red. I have a deep red. I have a deep red that is about this big now. <laughs> I still kind of use it. But uh, yeah, I love the Taylor chalk. So these were good value too. It's just wonderful to go shopping and not have to go out. Okay, so those are my acquisitions for this week. Last night was Tuesday. I didn't buy anything because I have so much. Oh, I was looking for my erasers. I needed an eraser. I just found them on top of my desk. It's funny how you can find things while you're recording. Yeah, so. Lost track of, I know. Dog's right there. Uh, yeah, so that's it for today. A little life stuff. I'm starting to um, go a little crazy in my head. Yesterday was kind of a, it was an okay day. Things were going well in the morning and my brother came to meet the new dog and um, everything was going fine. And then I don't know what happened. I didn't feel good. I didn't feel good. And sometimes it makes me nervous. And I, I got a little crazy yesterday. I had one of my crazy days. And so, um, and I couldn't eat because when I get anxious, that's what happens. Sounds silly now, doesn't it? It is silly, but when you're going through it, you just got to go through it. So anyway, that was going on. And I told my husband about three times during the morning, I'm going to be leaving at about 1.30. I have a two o'clock hair appointment. I'm getting my hair cut, as you can see. <laughs> I didn't make it. And, um... I was just kind of drinking tea and soda to try to feel a little more calm. 
and somehow the time got away from me and I was sitting in the living room playing with the dog and my phone lit up a call, a phone call, and it was the hairdresser. I recognized her name and I go, oh, I forgot my hair appointment because here it was about 25 minutes to three. I look at the clock and I said, oh my God, I had a two o'clock appointment. And I profusely, I apologize profusely. I, get, I just was so apologetic and she was okay with it, but I felt really bad. I don't do that. She goes, Diane, don't worry about it. It happens. You don't usually do this. You're always early. And when you weren't early, I started wondering if something was up. And then when you didn't show up, I'm going, oh, yeah, I didn't show up. I just think it's terrible to not show up for an appointment. And I still feel bad about it. I have to go today at three. It's plastered all over the place. I've got notes everywhere. Tricky though, my, my grandson's coming over at 12. I shouldn't have him that long. My daughter has an appointment in Pawtucket for one. Um, and it's dermatologist, so I think those go quickly. I hope. So that she could be back here by maybe two, if lucky, if she doesn't run into bad traffic. But it is no school week, so who knows if the traffic is heavy or light. Who knows? So anyway, I have to make sure I make it to my appointment at three. However, I, I just feel bad. I have um, daffodils in the yard. I'm going to cut a bunch of daffodils, put them in a vase and bring them to her because I have to do something. It's either that or give her a bigger tip. But sometimes it's, so yeah, what am I going to do? Give her $5 extra. That doesn't say I'm sorry. Um, yes, granted she's in business, but I want to, I'm going to give her the flowers, I think. So that's that. So I feel like, hmm, I'm starting to lose it upstairs to actually forget about an appointment that I have in my calendar on my kitchen table. Every time I sit down, I see my day because I, I have a number of things usually going on that I know about anyway. So that's that. I'm going to leave you now um, to enjoy this nice day. Again, it's nice. It's blustery today, Wednesday, April 20th. But hey, the sun is shining. We have to be thankful for that, right? Okay, and I'll see you next week.